Hey you guys, it's Kristen and welcome back to The Gold Project. In today's video, I will be sharing with you my six favorite things from April. But before I get to the list, I just want to mention if you have not became a member of this YouTube family, I would love it if you would click that little red subscribe button below this video and be a part of this community. I would love to have you guys. I talk about anything from basically anything home related, planning, decorating, vlogging, cleaning, you name it, I cover it. Shop with me's, um, haul videos, any, anything lifestyle and home related, I pretty much cover it. And I'm always up for suggestions. Always leave that in the comments. I take everything into consideration. So, for April, I have six products to share with you like every single month. If this is your first time tuning in to one of my favorites videos, let me just share how this usually runs. Usually, I will narrow down my favorites for a month down to six because I do not want the video to be extremely long. So, I have six favorites ranging from um, beauty to personal items and everything in between. So let's get right into it and I am going to start with a soap. I saw a YouTuber mention this soap and it was available on Grove Collaborative. So I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead and try it. It's an all natural soap. Uh, it can be used from anything, hand soap, dish soap, um, bath soap. Um, I use it to clean my makeup brushes and it does a fantastic job. So what am I talking about? The Dr. Bronner's 18 in 1 Hemp Rose Pure Castile Soap. Now this comes in many different scents, but I got the rose because I like the rose smell. I know it comes in lavender and y'all, I want to say like six or seven different smells, but I got the rose. This has been fantastic. I have used this to clean my makeup brushes so far, and it does a fantastic job. It does not take much at all. I just do a few drops in some water, mix my brushes up, and it does fantastic. Now, I am a part of Grove Collaborative. I'm an influencer for their company, which means I get to bring you guys deals every single month if you sign up and you become a VIP. Now, I will leave my influencer link below. Right now, it is a set of Mrs. Meyers products, and I think it's a dish towel. Yes, and it is a dish towel. I love their dish towel, love all the Mrs. Meyers products. I get probably a new set of three every month. Next, I think I'm going to try the Honeysuckle. So, I understand with that, you have to become a VIP. If you spend $20, you get those products for free. I absolutely love it. It's free shipping. You just pay $19.95 for an entire year, and it does not matter if you order one thing or 15. It is free shipping. Now, I understand if you do not want to sign up to become a VIP, I'm also going to leave the link to the Target website where where you can purchase the Dr. Bronner's soap. So you'll have the Grove link below, and you'll also have Target in case you do not want to become a Grove Collaborative VIP, but it's one of the best decisions I've made. So convenient. All of my house cleaning products are delivered to me. And here's the guy. Here's the thing. And here's the thing. This is why I love the company so much. I do not la live near a Target. It's not in my town. The closest Target to me is 30 minutes. And Walmart here does not sell the Method products. They don't sell the Mrs. Myers products. I don't know if other places do, but my Walmart does not sell those. So in order for me to get those products, I would have to drive 30 minutes to a Target to get them. So now I can just sign up. I've signed up to be a VIP through Grove Collaborative. The other day, you guys, I did nothing but order laundry detergent came straight to my door and it was free shipping. So it is just convenient for me living in a small area that does not have access to those type of products. So moving right along, I am going to talk about a face product. And this is a product that you saw 
during my skincare routine and it is a facial oil in case you did not check out that video i will leave that video in the description below and let me talk about this i'm in my 30s and my skin is changing i've watched many youtube videos on some um, beauty experts that talked about it and they said we should have a two-step cleaning process for our face and the first one is an oil and i tried several this is the one that i like the best this is the burt's bees cleansing oil with coconut and argon oils here's the thing when i tried this for the first time i'm like y'all this is going to straight break my face out an oil to take off makeup on my face is going to break my face out but they're swearing by it i'm gonna try it you guys this is an amazing product it is 100 percent all natural i got this from grove you can also get it from target i will leave both links in the description below and it works fantastic make sure you check out my skincare routine video because normally my ponds cold cream i use on my eyes to take off my eye makeup uh-uh not anymore i still use it just to make sure my eye makeup is off this stuff right here removes every ounce of makeup including my eye makeup including my eye makeup and i wear the stila eyeliner that is waterproof so this stuff is amazing and i have learned that it is best if you apply it on your skin dry because it takes off more of the makeup and is able to do its job better so absolutely love that and i actually have my mom using this now and this is my second bottle and i just received my third because i do not want to run out of this amazing stuff my third favorite thing for the month of april is something i don't have with me because i ate it all <laughs> And that is, and if you've watched my, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably know what I'm going to mention. If not, I'll leave my um, Instagram handle below. I would love it if you would follow me there. I post on there at least three times a day. And I'm very active and I like to comment back to you guys when y'all comment. So, what am I talking about? I'm talking about the Tessame Salad Kits. Now pop up a picture of that here. And I think that's how you pronounce it. And here's how I discovered this. We were at my sister's over spring break and I have to eat gluten-free. And my husband had to make a little trip to Kroger and I didn't have anything at my sister to eat for lunch. And he brought me back one of these salad kits. It was amazing. They cost $5.99 where I am. But you guys, it is so worth it because all I have to do is grab it out of my refrigerator in the morning, go to work, and I have my lunch. And it is a healthy lunch. This is an organic salad. They're gluten-free. They come in like four or five different ones. So just check the um, link in the description below. I don't think you can buy them off the website, but they'll have all of the different varieties that you can buy. It has absolutely changed my lunch routine and now I'm eating healthier. So if you're looking for a good salad kit, even if you're not gluten-free, I highly recommend the Tessame's gluten-free organic salad kits. My fourth favorite thing for the month of April is a cleaning product and it is the microfiber cloth. Now the ones I use are from Grove Collaborative and you guys, I know I mention that company a lot. And I have had the comments that, you know, I feel like this is a um, basically ad for that company. No, it's really not because I'm sharing favorite things with y'all and they just so happen to come from that company. You can get microfiber cloths many places from the dollar store to Walmart to Target, Maker's Cleaning Cloths, um, for clean my space they make cleaning cloths called um makers cleaning cloths tj maxx everywhere has microfiber cloths but since all of my cleaning products come from grove that's where my microfiber cloths come from so i will show you why i like these the most once okay and i think one of these might might be dirty so excuse it here is why i love these these are going to change your cleaning routine 
they clean so much better than a cut up towel. I have since got rid of all of my cut up towels that I was using for cleaning. I like the Grove ones because you see this right here. Yes, that is their logo, but it's also a little hook. Okay, so what I will do with these is I will hook them on my cabinets, on the little knobs on my cabinets, and they will hang there until I need them. When I need to wipe off my counter, all I got to do is grab this off a knob, wipe it, hang it back up. So I like this little feature on those on these microfiber cloths. I can just hang them and go. They're excellent quality. I cannot tell you how many times I've washed these and they still look brand new. Now I think they come in, so far I think I've seen them in three colors. The blue, the mint green, and there's a gray. I have all three and I absolutely love them. Now how do I wash them? I wash them together on cold and I hang them dry. So I do not dry them, no fabric softener, no dryer sheets. So you just straight need to wash them, do not dry them. Nothing special goes with the microfiber cloth so that it does not mess up the amazing quality that they have. So if you've not tried a microfiber cloth, definitely pick one up. Just get one, try it and see if it's something that would be for you. I absolutely love them. So I had to mention them. My fifth favorite thing for the month of April is a product that was one of those off the wall finds. At Christmas time, I was needing to come up with some stocking stuff for ideas for my mom to get me for my stocking for Christmas. And you guys, I am all about the sticky notes. Anything that's a sticky note, I like it. So I was on Amazon and they had these post-it notes here. Now, if you know anything about post-it notes, you know if you go to Walmart and get them, I consider them pretty expensive. If you get the post-it note brand, I think they can be pricey, okay? These are amazing. This is, I just ordered another set of these. So my mom got me two packages for Christmas. I went ahead and ordered a set last week. Now these are four by six size. So basically if you were to take a Polaroid, so basically if you were to take a regular size picture that you get developed from Walmart, that is the size of these. They are great. They're sticky, just like super sticky notes, okay? I like to use these, make little lists, and stick them in my planner. Amazing. I like that they're big and they're lined. I like that. So this is what they look like outside of the package. This is one of them. They come in four different colors in a set, orange, pink, blue, and green. This may be coming off as like yellow, but it's actually neon green. So this is what they look like. They are lined, and they have a nice little sticky just like at the top just like the regular size post-it notes. Absolutely love these. And here's the great part. When purchased on Amazon, this was $4 and I think four cents. A steal, I think. I've used these nonstop and I'm going to keep using them. So I wanted to make sure to mention them. If you've not tried these, I highly recommend them. Last but definitely not least is a foundation. You guys have asked me to share my thoughts on this and because I mentioned it in my QVC and Grove haul. If you've not checked that out, I'll make sure to leave that link in the description below as well. And I told you guys that if I loved it, it would make a favorites video. If I loved it, if I liked it, and if I didn't like it, it would make an empties video. Well, guess what? Here it is. My sixth favorite thing for the month of April is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation Full Coverage Moisturizer. Now, before I purchased this product on a whim, I was using the CC Cream. I like the CC Cream, but I was almost feeling like it was a little bit heavy on the skin. And I know it wasn't supposed to be a foundation per se. It was more like lotion foundation, I think, kind of is the idea behind a CC cream. It was just too thick. It was 
even caking up on my brush. I And I, I don't know. After using it, I still like it. Do not get me wrong. I still like it. I still have it in there in case I run out of this and need a backup until I can get it. But I watched it on QVC when they first introduced this product. And I thought, you know what? Let me try that. Because I have very dry skin. And it is a moisturizer. I need a moisturizer because if I don't have something that's moisturizing, by the end of the day, my face looks all cracked. I mean, I've got splotched makeup all over the place, okay? That's how dry my skin is. And you can't tell right now, but it's allergy season here in the south, and we've got pollen all over the place. And my nose is actually crusted up right now. Like when I was at work yesterday, I actually got some Neosporin and like put it on my nose because it looks so, so horrible. So I can't use foundation for normal to oily skin. I have to use something that's gonna give me some kind of moisturizing effect on my face. This is fantastic. And I think I have ordered the right color. I have ordered the light. Now before, when I was getting the CC cream, I was getting the fair and it was, I wanna say it was the lightest color they have because I thought that's what I was. But it was almost making me look pasty white. And I'm like, I don't really think this is the color that I need for my face. So I decided to go up a shade when ordering this. And I ordered the light. And I think it's perfect. I think it, it, it works good, especially going into spring and summer. But if you can tell, this is my original one here. And I've already ordered another one. So, I ordered my original one from QVC, and that is because it came with the foundation brush. So, I am going to leave that link in the description below because basically when you order it from QVC, the brush is free. So, I originally ordered it from QVC. Then, I ordered the second time from It Cosmetics because they had a 25% off sale. So I will also leave the link to just the product on, I will leave it from It Cosmetics and Ulta because they both have sales from time to time. So I'll leave those links down below so you can get the best deal on this product. But I absolutely love it. It goes on very well. It has not irritated my skin at all. By the end of the day, my makeup still looks nice. And you guys, I just I just can't rave about this enough. I am not, and I will tell you, I am not a person that likes, I want a nice, I want it to cover, but I don't want it to be so thick that it looks like I could take a knife and like scrape off my makeup. I want it to look natural. And I feel like that this product looks natural. Like I can still see my true skin underneath the moisturizer. So that's what I like. And for the summertime, it has an SPF of 50, which is amazing because we all need to wear some SPF on our face when we're out in the sun. So I cannot rave about this product enough. If you have tried it and you like it, or if you don't like it, share that information in the comments below to help all of us out. It might work great for me, but it might not work great for somebody else. So if you've tried it and you like it or you don't, just share with us how you feel about it in the comments below. So that is all for my six favorite things from the month of April. I hope you've enjoyed seeing all of my favorites from this month. If you were interested in any of those products, check the links in the description below. And I'll mention this, some of them might be affiliate links, which means if you click a link and make a purchase, I make a small commission off the sale, but it does not affect the price for you at all. And here's the thing about affiliate links. All of the money that I receive goes back into this channel. It allows me to buy giveaway things, better lighting kits, better equipment, to make my videos better for you guys. So all of it goes right back into this channel. So you guys, thank you so much if you do use my affiliate links. So if you have not hit that little red subscribe button below, I would love for you to do that right now. I would love for you to be a part of this community. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you give it a thumbs up and I hope you subscribe if you haven't done so already. I hope you all have a fantastic week and until next time, bye you guys. Thank you.